Hello and welcome to another Mansions of Madness painting video. Today I'm going to be painting Marie Lambeau. I hope I pronounced that right, but my French is not the best. <laughs> Her model, like most Mansions of Madness models, is slightly lacking in some detail, but we can at least get some pretty neat effects. I primed this figure in gray, but honestly, to save a little bit of time, you could just prime the figure in white. So first of all, I'm going to start with the furry scarf that hangs over her shoulders and stuff. And I'm going to start painting that in German gray. Basically because this is the only furry texture, I just want to get it kind of out of the way and just have it built up. Any mistakes along the way will just be sort of painted over in German gray. Next I took Eschen Grey and I'm just doing a dry brush along the whole surface of the furry scarf. Then I took Mechanicus Standard Grey and I'm just going to pick out sort of a few bits of the fur and make them look very, very prominent. And finally, I'm going to do a light wash of Nuln Oil to blend all of those together and to just make it look kind of furry. And you'll just see sort of the top highlights for the most part. And then a few little bit of the lower highlights will be just sort of dulled out. I'm completely done with this scarf. So if I make any mistakes from here on out, I basically just went over them with German Gray just to cover them up. And next up, I started with the Skin. Gorthor Brown as our base coat for the skin. Then to the hair, another brown haired figure, so right on side once again. Next up, I went with the beads and I just used alternating colors. So I used Mornfang Brown and Mephiston Red. And basically I just laid down all the Mornfang Brown beads first, leaving a gap whenever possible, and then used Mephiston Red to fill in the rest. This is kind of a tricky area to work with. It's not easy to show on camera because it's so small. And then on top of that, it's very easy to nick the skin. So of course, any mistakes made were just filled over again with Gorthor Brown. For the left bracelet, I use Retributor Armor. I use Stormhaw Silver for the bracelet on her right hand. Next up, the dress itself. I used Utherian Gray to start with as a base coat. If you primed in white, you can basically essentially skip this part, though you might want to put some of the gray white color in sort of just the recesses. And I'm using this color for pretty much her entire outfit. So the upper part of the dress, the lower part of the dress, the headband, and even the shoes.
And then finally for her sash slash belt, I used orange brown a Vallejo color. The base coat's done, we're gonna do just a few little washes. I'm gonna use Reichlin Flesh Shade for the flesh. This isn't going to shade the flesh really all that much, but it will add just a little bit of definition to the figure. I used Agrax Earthshade for the bracelet on her left hand, for the belt, for the hair. I also used Known Oil for the bracelet on her right hand. I used Known Oil for the dress, but I'm not just going to splash it all over the dress. I'm really only going to hit the recesses, so the darkest areas on the figure. Next up, now the highlights. Gonna start with the skin, and for our first highlight, it's going to be Gorthor Brown mixed with Kislev Flesh. This particular highlight's gonna go over most of the skin. And then finally, once that has been applied, we will use Gorthar Brown mixed with Flayed One Flesh. This lighter color really just pick out a few areas, the bridge of the nose, the cheeks, tips of the fingers, that sort of thing. Next is the dress, and we're basically just going to highlight this to a much brighter white color. So use any sort of pure white that you like best.
One thing I am going to do for the dress is basically make it look sort of shimmery and silvery. It's not going to look that great on this camera with the bright white light. It's really not. It's more of a subtle effect and only certain lights are really going to pick it up. Basically though, I took Stormhost Silver and I watered it way, way down. So it's pretty much just water, but you've got some of those silver flakes still floating around on the water. I went over the dress with this essentially about two or three times. And if you hold up the figure to the light, just at certain angles, you'll see sort of a nice light shimmery effect to the dress. I'm leaving the dress for now, but we're going to come back and work on it later. I'm going to work on the hair real quick. Rhinox hide mixed with a little bit of white to do our first highlight. And then you can mix it with a little bit more white to do a second highlight if you wish. Moving to the belt, and the first highlight there is just going to be our original orange brown, just to pick out a few little areas. Then from there, I'm going to mix the orange brown with Troll Slayer orange, and then one more mixed with Troll Slayer orange as sort of the brightest highlights. For the bracelet on her right hand, just use Stormhost Silver to pick out a few minor highlights for the bracelet. For the bracelet on her left hand, I used Retribute Armor again just to sort of pick out a few minor highlights. That about does it for the figure. Really right now I'm just going to do a few optional sort of highlights and things. Now the first of these optional takes is basically the makeup on her eyes and mouth. I used Mephiston Red just to get sort of your ruby red lipstick around her mouth. If of course you ever make the mouth a little bit too big, don't worry, you can always just go over those areas in Gorthor Brown or one of your Gorthor Brown mixes. Lastly, her eyes. Now according to the artwork, her eyes are closed while she's singing. So for that and to kind of replicate the fact that she has eyeshadow on, I use Drakenhoff Nightshade. I don't want this to pool, so I'm not using a ton of Drakenhoff Nightshade, but just enough that there's a little bit on there and you should see a slight bluish tint to her eyes. To put some slight difference between the inside of her mouth and the outside, I just used Bugman's Glow on the tiny bit inside just to kind of give it a different color. Lastly, we're going back to the dress. This is completely optional, but on her artwork, she has some sort of darker design etched into her dress. For this, I used Iron Breaker mixed with just a little tiny bit of Stormhost Silver and basically picked out designs. I did sort of squigglies. If you want to spend a lot more time on this, you can make it look probably a lot nicer than I did. The artwork shows sort of roses, but I'm not the best at drawing freehand. So I decided to kind of avoid that and just kind of go with sort of a squiggly sort of design. Lastly, I just paint the base with Mechanicus Standard Gray. And that does it for this figure. Thank you for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Give me a like, a subscribe, follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you.